was a time in my life where I truly thought this was it. At the beginning of 2024, Jelly Roll was interviewed in a jail cell. Most my friends are behind bars. The real truth about why Jelly Roll went back to prison will shock you. So listen closely. Jelly Roll was interviewed exclusively by CBS Sunday Morning for an episode that aired on January 7th, 2024. And he set the record straight on why he went back to prison. You're a felon. Yeah. Jelly Roll explained that he was only 14 the first time he got arrested. He's now 39. And Jelly Roll also confessed that he's been arrested 40 times in his life. Jelly Roll told CBS correspondent Khalifa Sine the shocking ways that a criminal record has affected his life. Although Jelly Roll is not currently a prisoner, he got out of jail for the last time in 2009. Jelly Roll turned his life around for a specific reason, and it wasn't music. He returned to his former jail cell in Nashville for the CBS interview. Jelly Roll sat down with Khalifa inside his old cell at the Metro Davidson County Detention Facility. It was an emotional interview for Jelly Roll. He confessed, there was a time in my life where I truly thought that this was it. But then Jelly Roll said, coming here after being nominated for two Grammys just hits different. Jelly Roll also had three number one country hits in 2023, and he won Best New Artist of the Year at the 2023 CMAs. Jelly Roll released Witsit Chapel last year after a successful start in country rap music. Witsit Chapel is the first pure country album of the seven studio albums that Jelly Roll has released. While Jelly Roll never wants to go back to a life of crime, he confessed in the CBS interview that his prison experience inspired many of his current hit songs. Jelly Roll even admitted that he wrote the chorus for an older song called Riding All Alone while he was sitting in his old cell as an inmate. That was more than 15 years ago. Still, Jelly Roll's criminal past continues to affect his life today. He told Khalifa that he was just recently granted the privilege of getting a passport. But that doesn't mean that Jelly Roll has been able to travel. Jelly Roll calls it his new hurdle. Since he's an ex-convict, other countries that he would love to visit are currently denying him entry. Jelly Roll said one of his songs went number one in Australia for three weeks last year. He told Khalifa that he should have been able to sell out arenas and do a successful tour of Australia by now. And that's where his new hurdle comes into play. Jelly Roll said that countries like Australia, the United Kingdom, and even Canada are currently denying him entry based on his prison record. And Jelly Roll even tried to crack a joke about it. He told Khalifa, It's so funny that here I am becoming a global artist and I'm restricted still to my own yard. Even more shocking, Jelly Roll has been denied property because of his prison record. In June 2023, Jelly Roll did a video interview with Billboard. He confessed that he wasn't allowed to buy a house because the community wouldn't let me be a part of a golf course because of my felony. That might not sound like a big deal. Did you know that Jelly Roll loves to golf? But because of his prison record, the gated community rejected him. And Jelly Roll isn't allowed to do other important things that some people take for granted. The next time you think that voting in an election isn't so important, think about Jelly Roll because he can't vote. That's why Jelly Roll wanted the CBS interview to take place back in his old jail cell. He explained, I always said that if I ever got in this situation, I would do everything I could to give back. Because Jelly Roll knows that when he shows up at places, it can make people happy. Jelly Roll told Khalifa, I feel like if God gave me that gift, I should show up. So Jelly Roll visits centers across the United States. He brings warm meals to treatment centers for people with substance issues, as well as juvenile centers for young offenders. Jelly Roll will play some songs for the people he meets. He said he does a little encouraging too. Jelly Roll knows how to talk to the people at the centers and try to help them change their lives for the better because he's been in their shoes. Jelly Roll hit rock bottom when he was just 16. He committed a criminal act that included robbery. Jelly Roll said, people could have gotten hurt, and by the grace of God, thankfully, no one did. It was such a serious offense, Jelly Roll got charged as an adult. Jelly Roll told Billboard, this is a grown man looking back at a 16-year-old kid that made the worst decision that he could have made in life. Since Jelly Roll committed that serious offense in Tennessee, the charge is still on Jelly Roll's record because the state has a zero tolerance policy for such serious offenses. When Jelly Roll was 23 years old, he was back in prison for dealing substances on the street. But something happened on May 22, 2008 that changed Jelly Roll's life forever. A corrections officer approached his cell with a specific message for Jelly Roll. The guard told him that a local woman in Nashville had given birth to his daughter, Bailey Ann. That was the reason that Jelly Roll needed, and he made a vow to start turning his life around. Jelly Roll told Billboard that he never had anything like that happen in his life before. Having a baby girl out in the world forced him to change. Jelly Roll said that he had to figure things out right away. The change started when he got transferred from the unit for serious offenders. He got reassigned to a cell in the prison's education unit. Jelly Roll had been in prison for longer than he'd ever been in high school, but he began to study hard for his GED when he lived in the education unit, and he passed his GED test on the first try. Jelly Roll had another important goal to accomplish. He wanted to meet his daughter. 
So he became a model prisoner and he eventually got released. In an exclusive interview with People, Jelly Roll said, man, the single most impactful event of my entire life was having my daughter. Jelly Roll also revealed, being a father is so important to me and just being as present as I can for her. Speaking of present, the first time Jelly Roll got to meet and hold Bailey Ann was at her second birthday party. Jelly Roll has really stepped up for Bailey Ann in so many ways. He gained custody of his daughter when her mom was going through her own issues with substances. And Bailey Ann moved in with Jelly Roll and his wife, Bunny XO. Jelly Roll and Bunny got married in 2016 and he calls Bunny a beacon of change in his life. Jelly Roll told Billboard that he would have never gotten custody of his daughter without the stability and money that Bunny provided. Jelly Roll is pretty famous for his tattoos. He explained to people that he got two of his many tattoos in honor of his children. Bailey's name is tattooed on the side of Jelly Roll's head. He also has a younger son named Noah Buddy, and his son's name is tattooed on the side of Jelly Roll's face. Jelly Roll told people that Bailey Ann makes fun of him for where he put her tattoo. He said, she's like, how did my brother get your face and I got the side of your head? Jelly Roll explained to his daughter that he used to rock the undercut. And when he shaves the side of his head now, he said that Bailey's name is huge. Jelly Roll even jokes that his Bailey tattoo takes up the whole side of his head. But when it comes to how much Jelly Roll loves his kids, that's no joke. After Jelly Roll accomplished three wins at the 2023 CMT Music Awards, he broke down in an interview as he talked about Bailey Ann. Jelly Roll admitted that he spoke from the heart during his acceptance speeches on stage. And it was so emotional for him, he knew he was going to forget someone. Jelly Roll told Entertainment Tonight during his ET interview, Jelly Roll said he loves Bailey Ann so much. He looked into the camera and told her, you've changed my life in so many ways. Jelly Roll said, it's bigger than a single award. We came from nothing. Now that his dreams are coming true, Jelly Roll decided to go back to prison and let people out there know what is possible. Did you see Jelly Roll's interview on CBS Sunday morning? Did you know that he passed his GED test on the first try? What do you think about Jelly Roll's hit album, Wits at Chapel? Are you a fan of Jelly Roll's wife, Bunny, too? Let me know in the comments below.